are aware that I just have, you know, the basic social work life. You try to talk yourself out of thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> because okay, so let's ba- let's back up. Okay. When you started the Mentor Me Accelerator program, you were working in a job. I remember, like, I think you cried in our, like, I think you cried in our mentor moment. You were working at a job and you were ready to transition. Yeah. You were making about 38K then. Yeah. But I, I took a, I took a leap of faith because I'll tell you, I'm terrified. <laughs> and that's- what, Like, and, what terrified you most? Like, when you were, like, preparing to make that investment, what, like, what, what was most scary? Well, you have to remember, we were in a, we were in the pandemic, like we were going into it. And my husband's like, are you sh-? like <laughs> any other time? He's like, I'm with you, whatever you want, because you like, you have done the work. You usually research very well before you say yes to anything. So I'm with you, but like, are you sure? Mm-hmm. And so when he started asking me, was I sure? And then I talked to Christina she was like, just, you know, cause you leaving the job, just make sure you, but even when I left, the provision was still there. Mm-hmm. And so I was nervous because one, you don't know the outcome, right? But outside of working hard, like when you talk about strategic planning, I think that's something that I really learned from Mentor Me is just how to be strategic and maneuver what's in front of me and stop trying to do all these other things, right? Because I got the degree, I got the little bit of experience and like, how do I capitalize off of that? And so literally that's what I've been doing. I literally have been praying and meditating and just saying, God, where do you want to take me? And literally he has opened up the door through mentor me for me to be able to excel and so 90 days this is doing good if you if you ask me <laughs> where I've come from and I can't say that if you came from this place or not but people where I come from it's always a hustle mm. always hustle always a hustle my friend you go to work you pay your bills you make sure the kids are straight and that's it right and so when we talk about that strategic mindset and really changing the game about how you see life that opens up doors and unlocks windows that you never even knew existed, right? So maybe it was always there, um, but I was just never privy to that, right? And, and I would ha- not have been without mentor me, right? It probably would have been later on down the line, probably 10 years, because I learned things a little slow. You know, God, gotta keep, you got to keep telling me. But to go through mentor me, to purchase a program in the middle of a pandemic, and see the fruits of your labor still in a pandemic, right? Um, Still progressing, still trying to just find your footing in your particular field, their doors are opening by which Mentor Me has been able to do that. So I'm appreciative. The issue is just like not just resume review. It's literally strategic planning throughout. And I think a lot of times when we get lost, it's like, okay, you get the degree, you get your couple of dollars and it's like, okay, where, where, like, where do I do now? Like, is this it? I just, but it's not it. And I think that is something that we as black women have to know. Like, like you said, it's available to you. It's there, it's out there. You can have it. In the midst of the program, right? you said you transitioned to a new role, quit that job, transitioned to a new role Mm -hmm. and was making about 50. At 50, yeah. At 50. And since that time have transitioned to a job making 70. I literally start on February 1st. And if I didn't go through Mentor Me, I don't think that I would be looking to purchase a home. Like we're actively saving to purchase a home. We have seven months. So um, Tanisha, I often connect with her a lot yep. um, because she was such a big support throughout the program because there were times where I have my kids. So I wasn't able to be there. And she's like, hey, this is what you missed. Here's the information. This is how you apply it. And you don't always get that. Um, I, I know at one point you had did a segment um, on School and Life and you talked about like, um, have you ever had a black woman mentor? And I, my experience hasn't always been good, but through Mentor Me, you, Tanisha, and other people who I've identified as those you know, mentor types have always been, how can I put you in this position to support you and your family? That's, that doesn't always happen. And yeah. so to be able to align myself with those kind of people is something that I'm I'm really proud of. And I, I thank Mentor Me for the option because uh, otherwise I would have, it would have taken me longer to do. Mm-hmm. And so what I would say is really think about what your goal is for your life, what your plan is. If you have children, even if you don't have children, what is your legacy? And when you ask yourself that question, it's a no brainer to make sure that you're putting your money in places that can produce that seed, can produce that, um, that growth and can really produce who you're supposed to be. You never stop growing. And I think for me, um, I always love to learn and I've always loved putting myself, I paid for two degrees by myself. That when you looked at my resume was trash and we were sitting there like, how did you, like, how did that happen, right? I was and, like, you're not well positioned. <laughs> and you're not well positioned. Me too, 
when you talk about the dichotomy, like verbiage and stuff like that, like knowing how to say what you're trying to say and like really having to dumb that down for women who are like, okay, I think I know, no, sis, you don't. Because when you get to that computer and the computer, you know, reads all of that stuff and you're out before you even get a chance to be in. So yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's what I would say. I'd give yourself a chance.